This looks like it. I think we found Head Hill. Just hundreds of pieces of bones scattered around here. There are so many skulls around this region. It's just uh, incredible. Maybe early hunters are the cause. I see some stone circles in around the region here that would indicate something like that. All I know is they're an incredible subject and, and it's an incredible view behind me. So I'm gonna try seeing if I can't find a way of marrying the two together in a painting. are getting so dark above those distant mountains. Kind of a little more ominous, kind of goes with the theme of all the muskox skulls around here. Finally, after a week of mostly cloudy skies, we got some sun and some full batteries so we can let the filming continue. Well, I'll tell you, as soon as you get out of the breeze up here, the mosquitoes start to pile up. But fortunately, there's an incredible breeze right now, and you stand up, gets rid of all of them. So I'm gonna head to the river, paddle down in a ways, see if I can't escape the mosquitoes and find something to paint. Well, I think I've gotten close to the spot I wanted to check out. Yesterday on the way into camp, I saw this beautiful ridge in the background. It took a couple of shots, but we had to keep moving. And now with this glorious sunlight, and actually a bit of warmth, Coming back for a better look. Wow, what a peaceful evening. It's about two o'clock in the morning. Everybody's gone to sleep at this point. But I have to come out here and just keep enjoying the never ending sun. Been an incredible journey. The end of 13 days already up here. It's been a real treat and a real privilege to be up here. And there's more to go, though we've uh, pitched camp for the last time on this trip tonight. Uh, we have a mountain over there, sort of the high peak of, uh, of this region or close to it. And it's possible that if we can get to the crest tomorrow, we'll be able to have a view of the Thompson River all the way to the ocean. Wow, <laughs> what a treat. We've had this young Arctic wolf come to camp, swam all the way across the river to come check us out. Was within about five, 10 feet of Carl. Beautiful creature. Up here, they don't really see any book. Oh, they're very, very curious. But this little guy's been around for a good 15 minutes now and he's just, uh, I think he's finally decided he's had enough of us. There's a ridge over there that I've been dying to get to. I'm really hoping that uh, we can get up there and see what's on the other side. We've been hiking about four hours now and we are approaching what we think is the summit of this, uh, of this little corner of Olivec National Park. And we'll see what kind of view resides on the other side. Hey, oh, we are seeing for. right to the ocean too. That's your open part. Wow. Awesome. All right. Oh man, this is fabulous. This is great. There's this guy up here this time. Oh, this is going to have to be fairly long and skinny. Maybe something like that. Well, it's been a bit of a crazy evening up here painting, but it's been exciting and exhilarating to paint out in the wild and have wilderness surround you, and either the wind or the rain, and all of it, all combined together on this hill, overlooking the Thompson River, all the way out to the Beaufort Sea. And uh, it's been great. 